Hello. So, my name's Nikki. Nikki G. What's your name? <coughs> What's your name? Have you got a name? <coughs> That's his name. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm leaving this, um, I'm doing a little video diary <clears throat> before I go and have some spiritual surgery in London. Okay, so just a little bit of background. I've got three boys. That's the youngest. I have um, had autoimmune issues for a decade. After my second child, back in 2009, I started to get really ill. We're now 2019. I started to get very ill. And in the 2010 or 2011, I got diagnosed with Crohn's. Um, I recovered quite well on medication. So they turned it, they said it was more ulcerative colitis. So <clears throat> I've been on, on medication for a decade. Really don't like being on medication. Um, the ulcerative colitis kind of like morphed. Um, I still have symptoms i've had quite a bad week this week and alongside with that i have this arthritic condition called entopathic arthritis it doesn't really matter what it's called it's just um really um inflamed joints big large joints so knees hips could be back um it could be my ribs uh so i do suffer my quite... name is called frankie he's called frankie and is mummy is mummy well or is she not well? Not well. Not well. I'm not well, and um, I really want to get well. So I've done lots of um, gut healing protocols, leaky gut healing protocols. I have done lots of meditation. I'm a yoga teacher, so I'm really into meditating. I use essential oils to calm my nervous system. My name my... is Frankie G. Frankie G. We're the G's. I use essential oils yeah, with the for G's. my emotions. You're going to let <laughs> mummy talk? This is the only way that I can do a video. So, <coughs> I, okay. I, I seen a clairvoyant a couple of weeks ago. And whether you believe in things like past lives or, you know, stuck energy in the body, I do. So I was told that I need to have some spiritual surgery. You know. So I've booked it and I'm going to London. So this week has been really bad. I've had a couple of mornings where I've not been able to walk. Yeah, I've got out of really bed. Bad. I've had painkillers. Just to get me moving and I, I'm in a bit of a survival week to be honest. Yeah, get my so, moving. I wanted to leave this. Yeah. It's Saturday. Tomorrow I fly to London from Jersey and on the Monday morning I have the spiritual surgery and I'm gonna leave you a message. I'm gonna do another video before the surgery, in the middle of the surgery. I'm having two sessions and then after the surgery. Um, I'm really hoping it's gonna kick start. The clairvoyant she knows. and a really, really amazing clairvoyant who gave me the most magnificent reading. She didn't know me from Adam and she just had everything to a T. Um, she said, and her husband said that I have um, past life energy um, really stuck within my colon. Um, real dense, strong energy that's stuck. And she said, you can't shift this yourself in this life. Yeah, whether, you can't shift this in your life. Whether you believe that or not, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just going with it. The universe is just supporting me just to go yeah, with it. Yeah, my mum's just going with it. <laughs> He's my little commentator, aren't you, Frankie? Yeah. So, I'm going for spiritual surgery. Bit out there for me, even. But why not try something different? Yeah, And his stand is going to town. <laughs> When you have gut issues, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, Frankie, you made my brain go. <laughs> okay. 
anyway, if you've got arthritis or hey. anything <laughs> that's inflammatory, um, you know, it can stem from the gut. It can stem from your life being out of balance. It can stem from stress. Massive trigger. Um, and it can also stem yeah, from... massive trigger. Bringing energy <laughs> through from past lives. Anyway, I might be a bit of a nut job, but here we go. So I'm going to stick this on YouTube. Um, yeah, maybe okay. I'm going to stick this on YouTube. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go now. All right, hopefully the spiritual surgery works. I will message you after it. Bye. Bye. Oh, Seeing um, Stephen Churoff. I've had one session. He was doing stuff around my tummy. I didn't tell him what was going on with my health issues, but he just came and went right into my gut. And now I'm just having a little bit of a like 10 minute um, chill out before I go in for my next session. But this is a really lovely space. The people around him are really heart, heart people. I can really feel their hearts. Um, I watched a video on YouTube last night about Stephen. And it was like um, this reporter saying, um, you know, he was conning the con man. And I actually found it a really funny video. Um, I don't think it really holds him in much bad light, but I'm being open to it. And the people here, actually, to me, are really making me feel that um, there is more to this. His partner is a really lovely yoga teacher woman that I've chatted to. Really hot. There's people here meditating. It's a really lovely space, and I really trust it. So I'm going to be having my second session, and um, I'm hoping that this energy in my body around my gut is going to um, subside and it's going to help my healing journey um, with my joint pain and my gut and this skin this skin thing that I'm getting which is to show that my body's not working very well so I will message you after my next session maybe on my way home um, maybe in a few days after I see how I feel because I'm very colitis at the moment so I'm going to see how my gut is after these two spiritual surgery sessions okay love and light Nikki G Hello, it's Nikki G. So this is the update from see seeing Stephen Chuiroff. 
Um, you know that I enjoyed the experience, loved the centre. I don't actually feel he's a con man. I feel that he feels he's got a special gift. And if people go there and it works for them, then I don't think he's conning anybody. I've even had consultants at the hospital saying to me, um, what your placebo works for you is better than taking the medication, his placebo, if he's not going to do anything. So what works for you works for you. So I personally don't think Stephen Turoff is a con man. Love the experience. Okay, so since I got back, my first few days, I had so much clarity. I had so many eureka moments. Um, my perception of myself and my husband, our journey, um, our differences, our, uh, our own separate needs, how they're polar opposites. I mean, my perceptions changed um, towards my partner. Instead of being irritated, my perception's open and I'm seeing him in a different way. So that was something I definitely did not have before I went to this experience with Stephen Turoff. And it is said that maybe it's not on a physical level that you get healing. Maybe it's on a, a conscious awareness level. Maybe it's on an emotional level. It could be on different levels. Then I had about four or five days with lots and lots of physical pains. And then since the last four days, I've had no physical issues. I'm not taking any painkillers. Something's different in my body. Um, I'm not having the joint issues. I've got no pain. I'm swimming every day. I'm walking every day. I'm not parking in the school car park. I'm parking away so I get to walk to the school which I've not done for four months. So something's definitely changed. Okay, so I'll leave another update in another two weeks and that's a whole month since I've seen him. Because my issues were really on a cellular level, the cells can take three, six, three to six weeks to rejuvenate to get new cells, healthier cells. So in another two weeks, I'll do another update and let's see how I'm feeling then. The only thing that's physically wrong with me is a little lip thing all the mouth ulcers have gone. My colitis has totally gone. Um, the symptoms I was having have really settled. So that's something that's changed. I went there with colitis issues that I've been having for a couple of weeks. So that's totally settled down. Um, so I feel it's been really positive. So I'll let you know in two weeks how I'm feeling. And hopefully I'm doing cartwheels everywhere and I no longer have a painful body. And actually the spiritual healing has worked. Woo! Manifesting. Hello, Nikki G. So, I'm going to make this like really short. It's two months now since I had my spiritual surgery. I am no longer in physical pain, no longer in joint pain. And I feel the spiritual surgery was definitely a kickstart to changing things. So, opening myself up more consciously, being more aware of um, my lifestyle, what I'm doing. So since I've had the spiritual surgery, I've stopped eating meat. So I'm like a pescatarian, which is much better for my digestive system. I've been daily, maybe four or five times a week, sea swimming. So we're just hit into March. Um, oh, actually, it's only six weeks then. Six weeks since the spiritual surgery with Stephen Jurov. I'm sea swimming a lot more which I think is really good energetically. I'm deep breathing and I've um, I've just done some training actually with another modality. But I think the spiritual surgery definitely, definitely has kickstarted something in me to make some real positive changes for my health. Instead of being in the drama of um, feeling ill and um, not really doing the right things, so yeah, for me, the Stephen Turoff um, experience was amazing and I would say that I'd possibly go back because I do believe that there's a higher energy and I think that's what he's, um, what he's connecting to and just asking um, source energy, um, whatever you believe in, he's just asking for that to come in and create the healing. And I do believe in it. 
I do because I definitely have had massive shifts consciously with myself and uh, yeah it's been a really really positive experience so I think anybody that's really struggling with their health go and do it because even if it's not instantly on a physical level it's going to change something on a mental um, on, a, on a spiritual level for you and it's just going to open up a new path so I think everyone should go and have spiritual surgery if they're really struggling with life okay it's been a good experience thank you Stephen Chiroff and keep doing the good work that you're doing Namaste.